Hello traders and we are starting with the down and we talked about how we normally get a fade at the 50 MA well yesterday we touched it and today we came right into the monthly R1 so we are well and truly so we spent three days in this box now and I did trade this into the open I actually got the two best moves of the day which doesn't always happen I basically in a small time frame I took the open and traded it so we had a hammer like bar here uh, a nice close up here we opened up around about here took it into this area here the resistance and the moving averages uh, I then about 10 15 minutes later flipped it took it back down to support and left it so I did that and then walked away so all this mess down here I just ignored why did I do that because I just because of just you know, I, I, I marked off this box the support and resistance in this box area and just traded the range okay uh, I also took a little bit out of the US dollar yen took it off of that resistance it's just a range bound day and, uh, and I just somehow well, I didn't sen just sense it I marked it off you know, rather than try and trade breakouts you're going to get breakouts 15% of the time so today I just took it to I just took these markets to resistance levels uh, I did get a stop out on the pound I bought this support here at 37 and it dropped all the way down to the big round number 160 so we've got a small stop out there and what else did I do? Oh, I did trade oil I think I did make some money on oil, not much. Uh, I traded it into 310, uh, thinking it might break out. Um, for this particular, on this particular one, I didn't take it off the resistance. I waited to see if we get up to 356, 350, and we didn't. So uh, I took it off close to my entry, but a small loss, and then I traded it down onto that support. So what have we got now? Let's go back to the down. Look at where we are now. We've got a stopping bar on the on the 50 MA, but with not much data. So look at the data we've got tomorrow. Ooh, quite busy. Um, nothing significant for the UK. Nothing. Oh, index of services. Sorry, that 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 at 9:30. We're a service economy, so I think that should that could influence the market if it's any different from 0.6. We've got ECB speaking at 10. Uh, another. For some reason, that speaker's marked it red for quarter to 11 UK time. And some other data at. 1.30 and consumer sentiment at 3 so not and then speakers later on in the day not a lot really not nothing significant oh we're getting a bit of a bounce uh, this Dow is coming up a little bit as we head we're 12 minutes off the close here and you can just see on this 5 minute chart how we have been range bound pretty much trading in that box and we are just coming into resistance now break up from here with W pattern and we could hit at least this pivot here at 3.30 at times running out, it's really small stuff. Risk all ratios are not great. Okay, I've got resistance up here at 340. Times running out. I uh, could get a big move into the close in the last 10 minutes, but I don't expect it. Okay. 
Um, so I, 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 these markets are very sideways. I do think this pound may have had its time. We keep holding the ATMA, but I just think that's we make, if we make a lower high here, we're closing under the R1. I think we could be failing here. I'm going to just look at the other charts and I want to show you what why I think that. I'm also uneasy about markets that like the euro that can't crack 135. It's a massive monthly resistance of 135, and we're just not doing it. Uh, my pound Aussie dollar is a bit of a hangman now. And what else? Aussie US. Weak oil. A little bit like the Dow. It's sitting on a huge amount of support. You can see we're just at the bottom of the box. We're at the bottom of the channel. Uh, it's not showing it. Um, Okay, so I, I think we are. You know, this if this doesn't hold, the ATMA is creeping down. We might see a move up in into 104, at which point I think we might start heading towards 100. But the stochastics are on the floor. RSI is low, um, so if we could just shuffle sideways and do a, a, a pullback to 105, but I, I'm not not getting involved. Or at least only scalping. I wouldn't get seriously uh, engaged in that market. Uh, US dollar yen has finished sideways. We are straddling these moving averages. We have engulfed yesterday's bar, so I would. That's probably the only one I would consider getting involved with tomorrow. But even that's not great, and I don't trust charts that can't close above the daily eight. Is the US dollar CAD coming up? Well, no, that's that's not happy either. So really sideways. We've got the re I think the reason why we've got this sideways action is because the debt ceiling um, deadline is Monday. The U.S. debt ceiling month is Monday. Negotiations are as usual um, trapped. So markets are not happy that the decision is not made on that, and therefore we are sideways. So I'm going to. Just get on with a lot of work tomorrow and not trade this and then um, see where we are at the weekend. Alright, hope that helps and see you soon.